back to the channel so first of all just log in with your credentials and activate your cloud shell just click on this agree and continue then click on this activate cloud shell now this is going to take a couple of seconds so meanwhile i will share one link on the description box so click on that link and this is a document which we need in this lab so just come on the task number one copy this first command and run over here wait for a second click on authorize Meanwhile, now copy the second command called git clone. No need to run this list command and run over here. And once this command get executed, click on this open editor. Click on this open in new window. And now just wait for a second. So it's done. Now click on this down arrow, then click on this SRC, then click on this environments. And from here, just choose the environment production.ts. Okay, now here what you have to do, just copy this content, copy that, make the changes over here like this, click on this view option, click on this command pattern and here search for the cloud run. Okay, and from here the fourth point, click on this option. Now this is going to take a couple of seconds, so please be patient. So now we have to choose our project ID, click on that. Now again, it's going to take a couple of seconds. So you can do one thing, just scroll down. And here you can see deploy to cloud run. From here, just copy this name called service name. Just copy this thing. Okay. And here in the service name, just make the changes and no need to make any other changes. Make sure your build environment must be local and simply click on deploy. So we are done with this task. Now this is going to take five to six minutes. So you can just continue with the second task for that just scroll up from the point number three open this link in incognito and just sign in over here click on the sign in option then click on this google click on student id click on this checkbox submit and yeah you are done with that now it is going to load the page okay so it's done now now choose anything no need to be specific over here okay and click on finish now here make sure to choose free then click on this google cloud and no need to make the region any changes no need to make uh, here and for the cluster name what you have to do just simply click on this congratulations just scroll up to the trigger part and from here just copy this name called cluster name copy that and paste over here like this and simply click on create just verify yourself and done now click on this app and services now this is going to take a couple of seconds so please be patient no need to worry just do nothing just wait you will see this kind of page and then you what you have to do click on this build your own app and click on next uh, now for the name of your application again just copy this cluster name and paste over here like this like this and simply click on save and click on create app service like this okay now what we have to do we have to just go up and here first of all we have to just enable one api so just go okay click on this cross option first of all now go to your dashboard here search for the api open this thing in new tab click on this credentials click on this create credentials click on this api key and it is going to take a couple of seconds meanwhile what we have to do over here we have to create three values okay so first of all just copy this name copy this name go to your mongodb okay and in the build section at last you can see values click on that click on this create new value paste over here like this now choose the secret as a type and here 
you have to just paste your API key which you created so now paste over here like this and simply click on save so you are done with one value now you have to create second value so just copy this click on this create new value paste over here now just make sure no need to any changes but copy this thing carefully make sure you have to include that inverted comma double inverted comma so just copy that paste over here and click on save draft now click on this cross and now for the time for last value so just copy this click on this create new value paste over here and simply click on this link to secret and from here just choose this gcp api key and click on save draft so here you can see you have created three values now simply click on review and draft and deploy and click on this deploy now we have to create two functions so just simply click on this function icon and here you can see your deployment has been successfully done now click on this create and new function for the function name scroll down copy this name okay make the changes here and click on the system choose that system now click on this save okay it is going to take time and now here remove all this content scroll down copy this content paste over here and click on save draft okay so it's save click on now review and draft and deploy scroll down click on this deploy so it's going to deploy meanwhile what you do just simply click on function now again click on this create new function for the second function name scroll down copy this name make the changes over here again choose the system and again click on save now remove all this content copy this content from lab instructions paste over here click on save wait for a second so draft has been saved click on review and draft scroll down click on deploy so you are done with this thing also now we have to create trigger okay so for that what you have to do here you can see option called trigger click on that click on add trigger and for the trigger name copy this name paste over here okay copy all the name and make the changes like this now scroll down click on this cluster choose your cluster and make sure your cluster must be this otherwise you will face the issue now database name click on this new database for the here just copy this and create a database called bakery click on create now for the collection name click on new collection and for the name of the collection copy this comments paste over here and click on create so we are done with that now simply click on insert and click on enable this full documents now scroll down at function option choose the last option called get comment and analyze sentiments and click on save now just wait for a second and it will be done as you can see you will face or you will get option like review draft and deploy just click on that scroll down and click on deploy now what you have to do if you just done with this and your deployment has been done now if you just simply click on check my progress you will not get a score because we have to do one last step okay if you just click on check my progress you will not get a score what we have to do click on this data and services wait for a second to and now is click on your uh, cluster name or you can just simply click on this uh, databases now click on this uh, cluster name now here click on this collections wait for a second and here if, if you just hover over here like this on bakery you will get one plus icon click on that now for the collection name just go to the document copy this name called bakery okay copy this name paste over here like this and click on create okay now just wait and here click on this bakery option then click on this insert document click on this function and close uh, opening and closing function bracket click on that and remove this content now copy this first json format content copy this paste over here like this and click on insert now again scroll down copy this content like this copy that again click on this insert document click on this 
or now paste over here and click on insert so you are done with the bakery option now please pay attention for the chocolate cake copy this object id and save to your notepad or you can just do one thing copy this open new tab and paste over here okay make sure you have to include all the project id okay like this as you can see okay now click on this comment okay click on this comment then click on this insert document again click on this and now scroll down add this content like this and make the changes over here and for the id just copy this id come over here and make the changes over here like this make sure your document will look like this click on insert so you are done with this thing also once you're done with that now if you just simply click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue do not worry about that error it take couple of seconds to update the score so as you can see and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day